orphans and vulnerable children Sabbath. It is a very special Sabbath in our church because this is a day where we put all our focus on these children, on this category of children. When we look at orphans, these are children that do not have their parents or might have lost either one of their parents. When we look at the vulnerable children, we look at children who are from needy, who are in needy families. These are vulnerable children. We have children who have disabilities. These are vulnerable children. We have children who sleep on streets. These are vulnerable children. We have children who sleep in slums, who stay in slums. These are vulnerable children. We have children of incarcerated parents. These are vulnerable children. Statistics have revealed that 140 million children are orphans. Unfortunately, because of the COVID pandemic, this number is still going up. 2021, UNICEF did research and it really showed that 153 million of orphans is what we have worldwide. This is not something that is very good. That is why as a church, we commemorate this day because it is very important so that we can, we can do something for these children. Rehema Zalwango is an orphan. Rehema Zalwango joined our church. She became a Seventh-day Adventist in 2019 when she got, uh, uh, she became an Adventist. She was baptized um, in a total children's involvement evangelistic meetings. That was in 2019. And uh, she became a member of our church. She stays in a church community, but in a slum area. Rehema Zalwango stays with her brother in a house that doesn't have a door. She's vulnerable. She's an orphan. She's also vulnerable because she stays with a brother and a friend under one roof, in one bedroom. That is a risk. She's a child at risk as well as being vulnerable. <laughs> Today, this is what we did. We decided to go and visit Rehema Zalwango. When we went there, we had songs with her. There were stories that were shared with her. And then we shared a few basic necessities with her. Because she lacked this, she didn't have basic necessities. She didn't have soap, she didn't have food, she did not have clothing, and basically all the things that she can use as a, as a girl child. As a girl child, being exposed to such an environment is something that is not good because there are very many risks. She, she could easily be sexually abused, she could be easily influenced into drug abuse, drugs, taking drugs. She could be easily be influenced into taking, consuming alcohol. Basically, Rehema Zalango is surrounded by all these circumstances, and this is not something that is very good for a girl child. All children deserve to be protected. All children deserve a family. All children deserve to be loved. This girl child is vulnerable. That is why we as ministry decided on this day to specifically go and reach out to her. I call upon you, wherever you are, please. There are very many orphans around the world. There are very many children who are vulnerable and need our help. Let's not sit back. Did you know that each time you help this child, you touch the heart of God directly? Because children are an apple of God's eye. Please think about it and do not sit back. Do whatever it takes to ensure that an orphan is cared for and often is adopted if you can you can adopt one please give them a very good home provide for them and god will bless you more